Remember when we installed this GPT OSS 120 billion parameter model on just one GPU? NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM in this video which you are looking at your screen. But if you remember, I also mentioned in this video that if you are looking to serve this model on production scale to multiple users, this won't scale and this won't work. Also, there are heaps of other large language models which are more than 120 billion. They are huge, like DeepSeek. We are talking hundreds of billions or even tri trillions of parameters very soon. So here is the problem. Even if you buy the latest and greatest GPU, you cannot always fit these models onto one device. And even when you can, running them efficiently is totally another story. That is why parallelism has become such a big deal in transformers. Instead of trying to squeeze the whole model into one GPU, now we can distribute the work across multiple GPUs and then let them run in parallel. And that has become quite possible with transformers quite easily. And that is what exactly I am going to show you in this video. Upfront, I'm not going to do a hands-on one, but I will be sharing the whole code. So if you have a multi GPU cluster, you are looking to implement a model with transformers library in which is mixture of expert, of course, on a production scale to thousands of users, you can do that quite easily. And I will show you now, not only inference, you can also do training, you can do a lot of other things, but my focus would be on inference in this video. And rest assured, I'm going to explain it in very simple words. So don't think that I'm expecting you to have a PhD in machine learning. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and also consider becoming a member of the channel from the front page of the channel or you can just check out the first comment in the video as that helps a lot in keeping this channel alive and kicking. So let me first give you a big picture of parallelism. Let's step back for a second. There are a few different ways we can split the work of GPU inference. First, you can do something called as data parallelism. Take a batch of input data and split it across GPUs. Each GPU processes a different slice of the batch. Then we have something called as tensor parallelism. Tensor is simply the math inside the models layer. You can split up that tensor or path inside each layer so that the huge matrix multiplications get divided among GPUs. Then we have something called as pipeline parallelism. You can split the layers themselves across GPUs. So GPU 1 runs the first part of the model, GPU 2 runs the next part and so on. And finally now what we are focusing today is called as expert parallelism which is related to mixture of expert models. So what is mixture of expert parallelism? Look, every transformer block has a single feed forward network, something on these lines. It is also called as FFN. In mixture of expert, instead of one FFN, we create a pool of them called experts. Now here is the trick. Not every token needs to go through every expert. A router learns to decide which expert is best for which token. So if you have 16 experts, a token might only go to two of them. That means the model can be much larger, but at infant's time, we only activate a small subset because these experts are completely independent. We can place them on different GPUs. The router sends token to GPU 1 if they need expert 1, GPU 2 if they need expert 2 and so on. This is expert parallelism. Instead of splitting matrix multiplications like tensor parallelism does, we are splitting entire feed forward blocks across GPUs. Now, let me show you the code. This is the whole code. Of course, you would need to install the latest transformers library with pip install transformers and pip install torch in your environment. Let's take this example of GPT OSS, the open weight model from OpenAI. 
So this model has 120 billion parameter. Now here is a surprising part. Just like I showed you in this video, we can run this model on a single H H100 GPU thanks to MXFP4 quantization. But just because it does fit onto there, you know, we cannot stop there because we have to scale it. That is where this expert parallelism comes into play. Now, how it is working? Look at this code. This is all you need to do. We are importing the model after installing libraries. We are loading the tokenizer as usual in this line number six. And this is the key part device map. Look, this line where we are saying distributed config turns on expert parallelism, meaning expert will be spread across GPUs and TP plan auto activates tensor parallelism for the attention blocks. So this model is combining two forms of parallelism at once, tensor parallelism for attention, expert parallelism for mixture of expert. And then we are just tokenizing the input and then we are decoding the result, printing it out for the inference. So rest of it remains the same, but these three or two lines are what we are doing here. So this is all you need to do. And then, for example, if you want to run it, let's say you want to use four GPUs. So on your, you know, whatever script is, just run this command torch run and proc per node four. So it means that it is going to use four GPUs automatically. You want to use, let's say, um, 1440 GPUs just run this it is going to easily distribute your workload how easy that is and it distributes both the experts and the tensor operations now coming back to this image you see multiple FFNs, FFN1, FFN2, FFN3. Instead of always using the same FFN, the router decides which expert should process each token. Token X1 might go to FFN2, token X2 might go to FFN1, and this is this is what allows us to scale. Each token only touches a small part of the model. Look at this schema diagram. Let me make it slightly bit bigger. Okay, now if you look here, bit more complex but i will give you a very easy one so look in the part a the left hand side data plus expert parallelism tokens are split across gpus and experts are also split across gpus look at the b now in the in that one you can easily see that now we have parallelism of data expert and tensor c we have data expert and pipeline parallelism so we are spreading both the self attention and feed forward blocks across different gpus and so on and so forth for example d expert per tensor experts are split across gpus and each expert itself is a tensor parallelized what you should notice here is that expert parallelism doesn't replace the other methods. Instead, it adds another dimension of parallelism. That is why large scale models often combine all these at once. If you are working in a production, you would at least use two of them. And that is what this code just showed you in very, very easy way. Now, before I recap, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friends at iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. So please do check them out. Uh, as that helps a lot. So to recap what is happening here, large language models are too big. Parallelism solves this by splitting the work and expert parallelism powered by mixture of expert routes to tokens to different GPUs, each hosting a different feed forward expert. That's about it. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.